What is going on, YouTube? This is Wi-Fi Memory here today. Today, we are bringing you guys another episode of Copycat Sunday. This is the series where I go and ask you guys to pick between three different teams. And this week is not no different. I want you guys to pick between Team 1, Team 2, or Team 3. All three teams are going to be the teams that my opponents will be using in today's episode. Um in a very fun series and we're going to be showcasing this team that you guys chosen last week this team will be featuring a needle king a wheezing and it also has a roserade and probably my favorite member on this team is going to be a choice banded heracross so keep an eye out for that heracross hits super hard this is a nostalgic set for me because i used to run this exact same set back when uh Gen generation four was out so I'm really looking forward to see what we can do with that hair across today. Nonetheless, let's get to the first Alright, so team number one will be a Quagsire, Crawdont, Clefable, Metagross, Exploud, and Mew. Very interesting team, I got to say. Very unique. You know what? I'm actually looking forward to this match. Alright, so we're rocking out with a Weezing, Needle King. Chansey, Heracross, Heatran, and Isabella the Roserade, which is a shout out to my Encanto team build, um, theme team I did, probably roughly over a month ago, but you know what? Hey, the one team that you guys picked had a Roserade, so here's my Roserade, so here it is. Anyway, I'm liking this team that my opponent's rocking out with, I really do. Um... For our leads for us, I think honestly Needle King doesn't look too too bad. Heracross doesn't look the worst either. Um, Heatran. Let's go Needle King as the lead. And then from there we can see what we want to do. This is a Choice Specs Needle King if you guys are looking. This thing is going to be able to hit really really hard hopefully. Uh, with the sheer force ability, maybe it's a good uh, Pokemon to start off with. As our opponent does decide to go ahead and bring out the Mew. Now, I'm probably going to go ahead and try and switch right into our Chansey. Because I do not necessarily want to take a, a Psychic from the Mew. Um, unfortunately, this team last week did not have a Blissey on it. Instead, we're having to rock it with a Chansey. So, I really don't necessarily know... The biggest difference between Chansey and Blissey, but I do see a lot of players running uh, Chansey over Blissey, and then I see a lot of people running Blissey over Chansey. For me personally, I prefer a Blissey, but you know what? I got Chansey here today. This is a support Chansey set mostly with the Roma Therapy, um, and it has the Thunder Wave. I, I figured our team doesn't have the best speed control, so having Thunder Wave to slow down our opponent might be the best thing possible for us we are also rocking out with um i believe it's our ability is natural cure so every time we do switch out like right now we're paralyzed it will be healed off we won't have to worry about it so i'm not having to worry about going for aromatherapy here our opponents go ahead and setting up some screens i'm gonna go ahead for a seismic toss at it um unfortunately we get paralyzed unfortunate but you know what? That's fine. That's fine. Explosion on Mew. Now we do have, I believe, max defense on our Chansey, so hopefully we survive. Oh yeah, we, we're taking it. No problem. Now we do need to try and keep this Chansey preserved though, because this is basically our uh, special wall. Our Weezing will be our physical wall, but like I said, I have a lot of bulk tied into my defense on this Chansey. I believe I actually did a 4 in HP, a 252 in defense, and 252 in special defense with a bold nature. You guys can correct me, I'll have I'll have the spread in the uh, poke, um, I'll have the spread in the description, so go check that out if you guys haven't been checking out those spreads. I do have, I do believe them in the description for you guys. Right here, Clefable comes out. This is a heat trend I've been running quite often here lately, but hey, the team... You know, you guys were asking for a heat trend on this team, you know, off of Copycat Sunday last week. So, you know what? I'll bring you guys the heat trend. This is a very cool heat trend set. Um, I actually like Will O Wisp on my heat trend. And I do believe we have Stealth Rocks on here, too. So, 
This is a nice little special defensive heat transect, but it really works out very well for us. I'm gonna go ahead and try and set up the stealth rocks. That way we can go ahead and get um, residual damage off. Our opponent has stealth rocks set up for themselves already, so I might as well keep it up, right? They're setting up cosmic powers. Um, their defense and special defense keeps rising. Okay, that's fine. Um, not really though, but I don't see them being able to do too much to me. I do know they had those screens up, but you know what? If we just burn them, we're in a good spot, right? We don't necessarily have to worry about it. They're raising their defenses. The only thing I need to worry about maybe is if they're the, trying to go for baton pass. They're going for charge beam. So cosmic power, charge beam? And then they actually get the boost too. Interesting, interesting. Hmm, I don't know what to make of this. I'm kind of waiting for those light screens to wear out. I'm assuming it will be one of those uh, light clay muse. So it definitely won't be the easiest to... Uh, it'll definitely be 8 turns, most likely. Because they should have ended by now. Um, yeah, he's probably... I forget if cosmic power raises it by 1 or if it raises it by 2. Either way, he's super bulky, but the problem is, what happens when I crit you? What just happens if I sh just crit you, you know what I'm saying? Yes, I mean, we're not playing any crit boosting yet, tactics or anything, but you know what? It just naturally happens, you know? You can naturally just crit someone. And what happens? Okay, so it has to be a plus one on defense, one, plus one on special defense for cosmic power to go on. Okay. Very interesting. So he's at plus four right now on his defenses. Like I gotta say, he's not doing nothing to me though. I can definitely keep throwing these flash cannons out. Eventually I'm bound to crit, right? I mean, even if I don't, you can, I mean, you're not doing nothing to me. Um, my biggest worry is maybe a potential baton pass, but you're still not doing anything. Let's see, that did... A lot more damage, and he misses the charge beam this time. Fantastic. So, light screens wore off. Uh, Reflect should be wearing off right there. Fantastic. Let's get this other flash cannon going. Yeah, we're doing good damage now. And he does have the moonlight. Like, like I said, though, you don't have no protection in case if I want to burn, or if I'm. Uh, in case if I'm gonna be critting you, you know, it looks like he is the um, what's that ability called? Magic Guard, I think, where um, he only takes damage from damaging attacks because he's not taking no burn damage, which is fine. He, he's still not taking no burn damage, but you know what? That's all right, that's all right. I mean, I wish you would. That way, basically, be neglecting that, uh, those leftovers. But you know what? You're still not threatening me. All right. So he should be at plus six on the, uh, all on both of his defenses. He does have the moonlight and everything too. So you know what? I mean, technically, you know, he is at this point. He should be very, very difficult for us to KO. Be nice if we crit he train come on come on we need that crit it basically if we crit we go through all of his defense boost and I, I know this Clefable does not have a way to hit us super hard because this is a very special defensive heat train um, and they've already showed cosmic power moonlight you have to probably have moon blast you know I mean stored power uh, that still didn't do that much damage. It will. That might be how they're going to end up taking us out, though. That does quite a bit of damage. I'm not going to lie. They, like I said, though, they should be able to easily go down to just one crit. We are running out of flash cannons, though. Come on, give me that crit. Come on, Heatran. I need, I need a crit. Oh yeah, charge beam. So he has flash cannon. Or he has charge beam, store power, cosmic power, and moonlight. Very interesting set. 
I really like that. I don't necessarily know if we can, if we could ever be able to pull that off. Because right now he's struggling to pull it off, you know what I'm saying? But it's a very cool set. Very interesting. I mean, I would love to get this critical hit right now, you know? Give me the crit right now. This, this turn coming up, I'll take a crit all day. Let's get that crit going. He transcends it around half HP. That would be fantastic. And then we wouldn't have to worry about this Clefable. Come on. I mean, if worst case scenario, if it goes down to timer like this, I mean, yes, it's a very boring start to the copycat Sunday. But you know what? I mean, we'll take the W for sure. All right. I mean, the store power is very, very interesting. And I mean, it, it in theory will work as long as you don't get crit, basically. We are able to outspeed each turn, too. So, that, that's just, just, just one of those things that Clefable is actually kind of a slower Pokemon. Hitting very hard, though, with that store power. Jeez. At this point, take my Heatran out. You know what I'm saying? You take it out, I might be able to come in with something to revenge KO this uh, Clefable, you know? Like Needle King, Sludge Wave would probably be very threatening. Sludge Bomb from uh, Roserade too, so yeah. I don't necessarily know what the EV spreads are on this uh, Clefable, but... Unfortunately, Heat Train will go down. We cannot get a single crit going our way. Unfortunate, and that might cost us the battle. Because, see, I was thinking in my head, you know, I was like, yeah, I'm going to just get the crit and we'll win. Unfortunately, we might not be able to. Um, we can go Sheer Force Needle King here. We, we should easily outspeed. For choice specs, you know. We got the Sludge Wave, which is a 95 base power attack. Um, yeah. And we're getting the sheer, sheer boost. Sheer force boost, too. Oh, there. Was that a crit? That right there is the crit. <laughs> hey, I knew I'd eventually get it. I knew I would eventually get it. <clears throat> I was hoping Heatran would have got it. But you know what? Needle King got it instead. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Fantastic stuff to see Needle King picking up a huge KO for us. Here comes the Crawdont. Hey buddy, how about you take some Stealth Rocks for us? I don't know Crawdont's space speed. Obviously compared to Needle King as well. Um, I know Roserade should be easily without speed, right? My biggest worry is Aqua Jet. We can go into Weezing. We should be able to take take an Aqua Jet relatively well. The adaptability though is what kind of scares me at this point. But I think if we can get a burn on this thing, I think we're in a good spot. We'll just have to wait and see what happens. Weezing, you are our physical wall. He goes for Dragon Dance. Man, man, what if I went for, um, I don't know. It's like, yeah, what if I just want to sack my Neo King off here? You just go for the Dragon Dance, and I could have went for a Sludge Wave. We probably would have knocked you out. I'm just saying. We probably could have. Knockoff comes out. Weezing show. I, I was hoping Weezing should have took that, but no. Crawdot's out here hitting really hard. Um, I don't think we have a switch. We're, I'm going to go for Heracross, but I do not think Heracross can actually survive an Aqua Jet at this point. This might be game. Let's go for close combat, see what happens. This is Choice Bandit. Come on. Waterfall. Yeah, he is faster now. Yeah, we're done. We, we lost. Clefable was, uh, was good for my opponent. We can go into Roserade, hopefully. Do we outspeed with Roserade? I doubt it. At this point, plus they probably have Aqua Jet. Roserade 
definitely will not be taking that. Knock off two. Yeah, we're done. Good game. Game one was a rough one. Wow. A rough game one. Try and rely on some uh, hacks on our side just to give us a victory. Unfortunately, you know, my opponent got greedy with the Cronut. Because, I mean, I could have easily stayed in with for Sludge Wave. But, you know what? It paid off for him. He played a fantastic game, and it pays off. Good game to my opponent. You played a fantastic game. So, uh, guys, get ready for game number two. Hopefully, uh... Hopefully we can get some better luck in game number two, guys. Alright, game number two. Our opponent's rocking out with a very cool team of Charizard, Arbok, Dragonite, Gyarados, Garchomp, and Salamence. I think they're going for like a dragon kind of fiend team and I really think that's a pretty cool um, yeah Arbok could definitely be like a Komodo dragon type thing so very cool very cool team I really do like that team all right let's look at what we can do here I think we definitely gotta try and set up Stealth Rocks Stealth Rocks really hurts my opponent's team dramatically I'm having one, two, three, four flying types plus Charizard will take half damage due to Stealth Rock. Stealth Rock, I think, is a huge priority for us. So let's go ahead and try and lead that. Um, it, they could easily lead that Gyarados, though. Do we have a good switch in for that? Because that could be def that could definitely be a Dragon Dance. You know what? Let's actually lead Weezing to prevent the Gyarados. And then from there we can play our game, you know? Alright, I like that. We'll go ahead and lead the Weezing to stop the Gyarados. You know, potential lead, because I think that could definitely throw us off guard. He does decide to go Garchomp, though. Very interesting. We are, I believe, Levitate on our Weezing. I'll double check here in just in a second. Yes, we are Levitate. So, you know what? I'm not afraid of your earthquake. And you go ahead, go for sword dance. I'm. Excuse me, but I'm here to burn you. I'm here to throw a big old will o wisp your way. And you know what? That sword dance is basically negated. Basically, I mean, yes, you can still hit relatively hard, but we are a physical wall, nonetheless. I'm not too too worried. I'm gonna go ahead and throw a sludge bomb, a sludge bomb at you. What you got for me? Iron Head, that shouldn't do that much damage at all. Fantastic. And you know what? That's nice little chip damage. Um, knowing that you're most likely gonna go be, be going for another Iron Head. I mean, you might wanna try just Garchomp for Weezing at this point. You may not. I'm gonna go ahead and go for Protect, see what you want to do. If he goes for Swords Dance, he goes for Swords Dance, but if it, most likely he's going to go for Iron Head. Swords Dance. Oh, no. Good play. Good play. I mean, that's a good call on my opponent's part. Because, I mean, they can now hit us relatively harder. Um, we don't have anything that really wants to take something from us Garchomp like we go into Weez or Heatran to take an Iron Head but he can just come back and hit us with an Earthquake and that's like the same scenario with everything here so we're gonna let Weezing kind of just fight this thing until I mean until he just goes down basically that does half damage now that's so crazy we should have him roughly about half health after the burn so that's good I mean Hey, Weezing versus Garchomp in worst case scenario, you know, I mean, we lose the Weezing, but hopefully they lose the Garchomp in this scenario, so we hope. He goes for another Sword Stance, predicting maybe a Protect, but he is technically a plus six Garchomp right now. That is burned. He is burned. Our Sludge Bomb isn't doing all that much, but it's decent enough chip. I think it's going to be not good enough, you know? Um, 
definitely this Garchomp will not be able to f go full on outrage on us, basically. Um, could have went for a protect there. But another burn chip went off. I didn't though, but I should have. That would have been a decent play. He goes for another Swords Dance. Your attack can't go any higher, my man. Fantastic. Good, good to see that. That's actually good for us because this burn tick and then I'll protect and his guard chomp will go down to the next burn tip tick so that fantastic a little bit of a misplay on my opponent's part but you know what I'll take it all day to the bank wheezing takes out the guard chomp you know outrage yeah last the chamfer I would have went for it too man I would have went for it too but you know what we outplayed you there just a little bit I think honestly you just made a misplay but you know what that's fine that's fine that's good for us not, it's not so much for you but you know what wheezing's still healthy sitting in the green you're bringing out the Arbok this is something I kind of want to see what you're doing with like I don't necessarily want to keep wheezing in against it but you know I'm kind of curious to see what you want to do with that I can easily go into Nido King I'm pretty sure like usually I see glare Arbok you know that's a I believe that's an electric attack move too, so we should be able to be just fine. Coil, that's that should be fine too. Um, it raises its attack, defense, accuracy. Yeah, it doesn't necessarily, necessarily raise your speed. And you know what? Let's see what you can do. Let's see. Neo King goes for Earth Power. Are you? What are you? You're not even Focus Sash. Arbok is a. Arbok is down. Fantastic stuff. Good job, Nido King. Picking up a huge KO there. You were a pretty pretty safe switching, honestly. Alright, so here comes the Gyarados. Good play, because really and truthfully, we are choice specs. I do have Thunderbolt on this Nido King, but I have to switch if I want to use it. Uh, Gyarados. I could go back and go back out into the wheezing. He's going to get a dragon dance off. That's the problem, right? It depends how stubborn he is, too. I guess. Let's go into we uh, wheezing. Um, he may not know that we have levitate on wheezing. I mean, most wheezings do, especially since you don't see the neutralizing gas. But he might get greedy here too. You know, he does know that we have the Will-O-Wisp, but you know what? He two, he has two two options. He could be a Lumberry Gyarados. Knowing that we're going to go for the Will-O-Wisp, he's going to go for another Dragon Dance. But that's our outplay, right? He does go for the Waterfall. We will take it. And we, we got the Will-O-Wisp. Let's hope that you're not Lumberry. Let's see. It doesn't look like he's Lone Berry, so that's fantastic. That means that Gyarados' attack is now halved. He might go for a Dragon Dance predicting a Protect. I'm going to go for Sludge Bomb in case that that's the opportunity he goes for it. Unfortunately, it looks like Weezing hangs on, but flinches. Unfortunate there. Very, very unfortunate. We could have uh, definitely had a huge Sludge Bomb come off, and that would have been... Decent, de very, very good damage. Um, not in the worst case scenario, though. We can go out into Roserade to take a Waterfall. Like, we don't have to lose our Weezing, but honestly, I don't see keeping Weezing too, too valuable anyway. Like, we'll go for a Protect. We'll see what he wants to do. He might go for Dragon Dance, and that could be a big, 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 big misplay. Because I should have went for Sludge Bomb. Shoulda, woulda, coulda. I shoulda went for Sludge Bomb. Get some decent chip on that. The biggest saving grace, I think, is because he is burnt. Like, we should be able to take some attacks with our Roserade if we wanted to, right? Let's see, yeah. Waterfall will take us out now. Unfortunate. But I do think, Weezing, you did, you did your job. Roserade can come in. Hit an energy ball, hit a sludge bomb, pretty relative. It should do pretty decent damage. Heracross could come in. 
hitting a stone edge would be a little bit risky. Let's go into Isabella the Rose Raid first. Now I do know our energy ball or sludge bomb is not going to be enough to pick up a KO. Unfortunately, it will not be, and they have Ice Frank. We do live on Focus Sash. Do not be frozen. That's a crit. That's not even fair. Come on now. And of course, you get frozen. Oh no. So he's burnt Gyarados, and we're the opposite as we are frozen Rose Raid. That's a little bit unfortunate there. That's. I mean, we can fall. Hopefully. Come on, Rose Raid. You gotta fall out, because he's gonna set up probably the plus six if, if the game let him, you know? I mean, I don't blame him. Freeze is one of those most annoying hacks ever, because you don't necessarily. There's not much we can do to get unfall. It's all RNG based, and unfortunately, he was able to get another Dragon Dance off. That might be enough to actually beat us. That might be enough to actually beat us in this game. I think we have to go into Heracross. Fortunately, he has that Ice Fank. It can miss. It is a little bit shaky on its accuracy, but so is Stone Edge. Come on, Heracross, you gotta hit this. Oh, he goes for Waterfall. We can survive. Fantastic, we go for Stone Edge. That's a dead Gyarados. Whew. Okay, at least we did not see a Gyarados sweep, but we are not looking great. Heracross has taken a lot of damage. We got a few of our key components on our team have taken a lot of damage as well or have fainted that's not too good for us Salamence comes out Salamence coming out to play this is a little bit tough but you know what Chansey should be able to take at least something hopefully he doesn't try to set up a dragon dance he did show me intimidate and I'm going to try and do my best to paralyze this thing. He is life or Very interesting. This thing's going to be hitting like a truck with that life orb. Hopefully, we can land this uh, Thunder Wave. Hopefully, we are, we are able to get this off. He goes for another Aerial Ace. Why not go for a Dragon Attack? That's fine with me. Fantastic chance he gets the Thunder Wave off. You know what? Salamence is all of a sudden slower than a lot of our members. I do want to check something. Is Chansey a fairy type? No, it's not. It's a it's a normal type. I'm still trying to figure out why people are running uh, Chansey over Belissey. I don't necessarily know. I, th I mean, Belissey just has more has better stats. I don't know but you know what Chansey you did do your job technically speaking you paralyzed the settlements which helps me bring out the Nido King which you know what I'm gonna go for sludge wave yeah yeah I could have went for the ice beam but going for sludge wave I'm pretty sure it'd be strong enough to knock out the settlements plus he's not gonna be expecting it he does have that Charizard in the back. I could have went for Thunderbolt maybe, but you know what? Sludge Wave, like I said, should be enough. It does take out the, the Salem Hints. Fantastic. And it gives us a... Uh, now he's got two Pokemon left. Two Pokemon. The first one is going to be this Dragonite. Unfortunately, we weren't able to get the... Uh, the Stealth Rocks up. We do... We can try. I'm worried that he might try and set up a Dragon Dance though. And that's why I'm going to go just go for the Sludge Waves right now. I do, not, I do not want him to get this free Dragon Dance up. Yeah. You can go for it. At, um, at this point, Earthquake's pretty obvious. Like He can go for Outrage too. 
I'm just gonna have to hope that Needle King can kind of hold on. We are at full health. Needle King definitely is a sweeper Pokemon, not very known, not very well known for its defensive tactics. Here comes the Outrage. Should we actually take this though? Uh, no, we do not. Unfortunate. It was a crit. Come on. Come on, game. Don't give him that. Don't give him that crit. Alright, so we did get some damage off of him though. And he is not using Earthquake, he's using Outrage. So we can come in with our Heatran. You know what? We should take it relatively well. We might be able to throw... Honestly, let's throw a Flash Cannon his way. Let's see what how much damage it can do. Ooh, that did, that did decent chip, not gonna lie. That did some decent chip damage, but our flash cannon should come out. And it does decent chip damage. Not bad, not bad. We can live another Outrage, we know that for a fact. Um, he can honestly live another flash cannon though, and he is not confused, so therefore he's forced to go for it. Yeah, let's go for a flash cannon. Alright, so this will be... Yep, he is confused now. Is he Lumberry? No, he is not. Fantastic there. Flash cannon will come out. Now, I, oh, we should have seen that. He is Leftovers. Just like my Dragonite. Hey! Alright, what I'm going to do is hope he hits himself in confusion. Either way... If he hits himself in confusion, I get Stealth Rocks up. If he does not, he probably KOs, KO my Heatran anyway. So let's go for Stealth Rocks. Let's see what happens. Hit yourself in confusion. That way we can... Unfortunately, he goes for Outrage though. Ah. Alright, we can't get our Stealth Rocks up. And we got half health on our Heracross. It's not looking fantastic. We will be locking ourselves into Stone Edge. We're just going to have to hope. Um, he can still hit himself in confusion. My biggest worry is the Charizard. The Charizard should easily be able to clean up this Heracross. He snaps out of confusion. How unfortunate is that? And Dragonite is able to pick up the KO onto our Heracross for game number two. Man, can we get a win for game number three at least? Come on, game. Alright, our third and final opponent is rocking out with an Obama Snow, Magmortar, Shuckle, another Clefable, a Garchomp, and a Jirachi. Very cool team, very interesting. Looking at my opponent's team, let's see if we can notice any weaknesses. I think Stealth Rocks. We gotta try and get Stealth Rocks up. That's what made us lose game two, that we were not able to set them up. Yeah, let's set them up. This time we're going to go ahead and lead our Heatran. They don't have anything too, too threatening. They do have the Garchomp, but that's usually a late game Pokemon. But looking at our team, they could definitely be like, you know what, I'm going to lead Garchomp. And you know what, they're not wrong in doing that. At least in this game. Let's see. Ectoplasma though. The Shuckle is leading off for game number three. We got to get this victory at least get game number three win. I'm gonna go ahead and set up my Stealth Rocks. If your Shuckle happens to have Rapid Spin, it has Rapid Spin. If, I mean, we basically force you to Rapid Spin that off, which means we can eventually reset it. Uh, the Shuckle goes for Sticky Web, which will kind of hurt my strategy a little bit. My strategy being that we're gonna try and Thunder Wave your Sweepers and try and KO them with my Sweepers. So, you having the sticky web kind of prevents me from doing that because it makes me lose my speed. So, very good play on my opponent's part. He does set up some stealth rocks as well. Shackle is a very cool uh, anti lead. Hey, I'm going to lead Shackle. I'm going to set up my sticky web. I'm going to set up my stealth rocks and then he's going to go down. But hey, I got all that stuff set up and now I'm ready to go. You know what I'm saying? He was, I mean, you're basically playing with five Pokemon, but. The effects of Shuckle stay on the whole game. It makes sense. To, I can see the idea behind all that, you know? 
Heatran is able to get two flash cannons off, which will be enough to take out the Shuckle. Fantastic, you know? Um, let's see. Who do you want to bring out next? Definitely not the Obama Stone, right? Um, Garchomp looks good, though, for my opponent's side. If he brings out the Garchomp, definitely look at my team. And yeah, GG. <laughs> I like that nickname. That's a very good nickname. Um, he might be expecting a switch. So let's go ahead and show him that will o -Wisp. He might be trying to set up. We outspeed a Garchomp? Since when? Since when do we outspeed a Garchomp? What are you doing? You're going for Roar? Huh? Alright, man. What are you doing? This is the first time I've ever seen Roar Garchomp, especially when you could have tried to get the KO by going for Earthquake. We punished that Garchomp by going for that uh, Will O Wisp there. Very interesting. I've seen Sub, I've seen Sword Dance, never have I seen Roar. Hey, if you want to keep going for it, be my guest. I'm going to go ahead for you. Get a little seismic toss off, you know? I'm not too, too worried about this situation. If Chansey goes down, it's not the end of the world. I hope. And honestly, I believe Chansey could probably take at least one attack. Dragon Pulse? Special? Garchomp? What? Okay, you take it. Go ahead, fight this one, Chansey. You might actually be able to beat this Garchomp. This is a very interesting Garchomp. I've never seen one like this. Let's go ahead and throw another seismic toss off. I have no... I have no issue going ahead throwing another seismic toss. You see? And now he shows me the crunch. So, what are you? I guess a mixed Garchomp? Very interesting. This seems, definitely seems like something Ash would run from the enemy, you know? A uh, mixed attacker, you know? Um, kind of like Gibble going for Draco Meteor, but then uh, next turn he goes for Crunch or Bite attack, you know? This definitely seems like an evolution of Ash's Garchomp for sure. Fortunately, it's not very competitive because a little chance he's going to be able to beat it up. Uh, Garchomp's already in the red. I mean, that's pretty rough. And then you switch to Magmortar on the Stealth Rocks. Chansey gets a big seismic toss off. That's already half on your. Uh, Magmortar, jeez, you know? And Chansey's just eating, out, eating away the leftovers. Magmortar should not be threatening Chansey all that much either, to tell you the honest truth. Most of the time, you see these guys as a special attacker. We'll go ahead and go for the Roma Therapy. As he goes for the Focus Blast, hello. Hey, we take it, we tank it. I'm going to go for that Roma Therapy just to get the burn off, you know, I mean, I, I, I know what I said at the very beginning of the video, that Roma Therapy is not necessarily there for the Blissey, but you know what, Blissey's in that situation where I don't necessarily want to switch it out. Because right, I know my opponent can easily miss a Focus Blast if that's their go-to play. So all I'm going to do is go for Soft Boils until they miss a Focus Blast, and then I'm going to hit them with a big old Seismic Toss from there. We're also going to be getting leftover recovery, so you know what? We're going to probably be roughly close to full by the end of this. And this main mortar should be going down relatively soon. It'll probably take two seismic tosses to take it out completely. But hey, as soon as you miss one, we'll definitely go on the offensive. So hey, go ahead. Let's let's go. He might be switching, knowing that this is a losing battle for him for the most part. He is staying in, going for the Fire Blast instead. Not as much damage, and that's a mistake on your part. Same accuracy, too. Very interesting um, that you decided to go for it. Because Focus Blast definitely do more damage, you know, at this in, in this scenario. But you know what? Chansey's here taking names. Focus Blast will come back out. He's like, okay, we gotta go for Focus Blast over. And you know what? Chansey's eating it. That's not that much damage. Chansey will take it. Seismic toss on your main mortar. Fantastic, fantastic stuff. One more seismic toss. Like I said, we'll be at the end of the mag mortar. If he does decide to switch it out, it will faint due to stealth rock, so you should try and go for a focus blast. He is switching it out. 
very interesting. Sending out Juice the Jirachi. Very interesting nickname there, my man. I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. Is that nickname, but very interesting nonetheless. At this point, Jirachi can be known as a physical attacker. This is actually a relatively strong physical attacker. 100 base stats across the board. It can definitely hits pretty hard. I'm going to go ahead. There's a Drain Punch. Like I said, I'm going to go ahead and try and set up a uh, Thunder Wave on this Jirachi. And then we're going to be switching our uh, Chansey out to get us um, a little bit better board control. I am going to have to be a little wary because he does have the sneaky well up, but having the paralyzation onto the uh, Jirachi still might become beneficial for us. He went for a uh, Drain Punch, so we can maybe potentially go into Needle King, take it, go for Earth Power, potentially? Ah, uh, no. He, he'd probably be able to Revenge KO us. Really and truthfully, we don't have that great of a switch in. Let's go into Heracross and see what we can do. Hopefully, we can get a fully Hera. That's what I'm hoping for. Heracross will come out. I'm hoping, too, that Heracross is able to outspeed this Jirachi. I doubt it. Being that Jirachi is base 100 speed, it is paralyzed. We do take the attack relatively super well, actually. All right. We're gonna go ahead and throw a big close combat their way. Hopefully, they probably don't have a good way to stop it. Heracross does out speed, fantastic. Ooh, that did, that, did, that did get some good damage too. Let's see, do we get the fully para on this Jirachi? We do get fully para on Jirachi as well, so we're able to actually clean this Jirachi. So that's fantastic stuff right there. Now this Heracross is Guts Heracross. This is not Moxie, not Moxie boosted unfortunate right but the idea is it's choice band so they're gonna try and burn it well as soon as they burn it they actually giving us a guts boost which gives us more power and then therefore we're gonna be able to get some huge KOs and stuff Magmortal comes back out Magmortar faints fantastic thanks to our stealth rocks let's see who are you gonna bring up hey salty rage quit to end the video I'll, I'll take it Guys, remember to vote for Team 1, Team 2, or Team 3 in the comment section down below. I enjoyed today's video. Even though we did take two L's, that win was fantastic. So, I'll take that every time. Anyway, guys, like, comment, subscribe. If you guys are new, this is Wi-Fi Mirman signing out. Peace.